Hey, it's Mrs. Mays, and I've got one more type of problem involving pressure for us to solve. This is still equilibrium, and it's AP chemistry. All right, so if we have ammonia hydrogen sulfide in its crystalline solid that decomposes, it's going to produce a gas. So if we have some of the ammonium hydrogen sulfide in an evacuated vessel, that means nothing else is in there, at 25 degrees, and then we allow it to reach equilibrium then the total pressure inside the vessel is 0.659 atmospheres. Some of this solid is still in the vessel and that's how we know that there's an equilibrium established. For the decomposition, we need to write the equilibrium expression for Kp and calculate its numerical value. So we need to know the equilibrium, um, equilibrium pressures of everything involved. Let's see how this works. First we make our rice table. So first, R is for reaction. And of course, the solid substances do not get to be involved in the equilibrium expression. So this piece doesn't get to count. And I have an initial concentration of zero because it was an evacuated vessel and the only thing we put in there was some of this stuff, right? Um, yeah, some solid, it says. Doesn't tell us how much, just some. But we know that we gained some ammonia and we gained some H2S. And then at equilibrium, we had, when we add this up, X and X. And when we add X plus X together to get the total pressure, it was 0.659 atmospheres. Do you see where we're headed now? Right, when we add x plus x, that means 2x is equal to 0.659 atmospheres, and it's just simple algebra that allows us to solve for the value of x divided by 2, right? So we divide both sides by 2, and I get 0.32 That's the value of x. So that means at equilibrium, the pressure of ammonia is equal to the pressure of the hydrogen sulfide, and that is equal to 0.3, let's see, how many sig figs do we get? Three sig figs, it looks like. Yeah. So three, three, zero atmospheres. And then Kp is the pressure of ammonia not squared, just the pressure of ammonia times the pressure of hydrogen sulfide. And that is 0 0.330 times 0 0.330. Therefore, Kp is calculator time. And since I only get to keep three sig figs, let's call that 0 0.109. And that's it. That was so easy. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Usually the pressure problems are the easiest ones to solve. Great. We'll practice this more in class. See you soon.